Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I start a new series of tutorials about creating a clicker game. Today we are going to start working on this game. We will create a 2D project, tweak it, implement basic click mechanic and add some effects. So don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and after watching this video, write your opinion in the comments. You can also ask me some questions about this project and I will be happy to answer. So let's get started. Go to the Unity Hub, then create a new 2D project. When your project has created, go to File, Build Settings and switch your platform to Android. Then go to the Player Settings and set your default orientation to the Portrait. And now you can go to the Game View and choose any resolution you want, but it must have portrait orientation. And of course you can create your own resolution. To use buttons, text, images and other UI objects we need to create canvas. In canvas settings you need to select screen space camera and select your main camera in the render camera field. In canvas scaler you need to choose scale with screen size and select the resolution you are working with in the Unity. That's it. Now in this canvas we need to create a text. I will use a text mesh pro, but you can select a simple text. So text mesh pro has installed and now you can set up your text as you want. But on the devices with different resolutions, this UI looks different. Let's fix this problem. In the Rec Transform component you can choose Anchor Preset. In this case we need to stretch this text on the top. And now this text looks the same in the different resolution. Also, we need to create a button. This button will be responsible for earning money in the game. I will make it square and change the text inside. Don't forget about your button transform. You can try different presets and choose the best one for your case. Now create a folder for scripts. And then in this folder create a new script. To work with TextMesh Pro, we need to import Team Pro namespace. Then create a private integer field for coins. Next private field must be serialized, because we want to get a reference to the text object in this field. In the start method, we need to receive information about coins. For this, we check the registry for required key. And if we find it, we get the information. Then create a new public method. I will tell you later why it must be public. In this method we just increment coins value by 1 and then Save this value in the registry.
But what if you want to get more coins? Let's create a new serialized field for coins multiplier. And now you have to increment this value by coins multiplier. And of course we need to update the text. But you cannot just say that text must be equals to the coins, because text is type of string and coins is type of integer. So we just need to use toString method. Go back to the Unity and create an empty object. Then drag and drop your script here. In the component settings you need to assign all the fields. But now if we click on the button it doesn't work. To fix it go to the button settings, find on click event, then drag and drop your coins controller to this event and choose the earn money method. That's why it should be public. If it were private for example, I would not be able to select it. And now it works. But if I restart the game, I won't have any coins. This happens because we didn't update the text on the start. Let's try it again and it works correct. Also you can change the multiplier field and get more coins. Ok, now let's add some effects. Just create a particle system and repeat after me. You can get the sprite in the description. Ok, now create a folder for prefabs. Then drag and drop your particle system to this folder. In a script you need to create two private fields. First one for particle system prefab and second one to get button position. In the earn money method, call instantiate method. You just need to spawn particle system in the button position. Now in the component settings assign all the fields and check the game. And it works very good. Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and write your opinion in the comment section. See you next time!